What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more acid techno. And we're back with one of my all-time favorite tunes, although it's funny, I've mentioned that to people, uh, including people who know a lot of acid techno and listen to a lot of acid techno themselves and even listen to some of my mixes. Uh, and there's been some surprise, yeah. So we're talking Wicked Plastic, a tune by Kektex, a.k.a. Dave the Drummer, a.k.a. Henry Cullen, as well as Laurie Immersion. Uh, and yeah, this is just one of the most devastating tunes. It's from 99, so it's not from, like, the classic golden age, which, I don't know, I'd say, like, what, 94 to 97, 98? It's in the transitional period. It's in... The period where acid techno and other sty styles were evolving as the turn of the millennium happened. Um, certainly, you know, trance was changing in many ways. Um, techno was changing in many ways. Hardcore was changing in many ways. So, you know, it's hard. As a historian, we're wary about framing things around decades and, you know, centuries and so on because we tend to oversimplify when we do those things and we don't realize that, you know, there are connections that cross over temporal barriers like that. Nevertheless, um, it's a really cool tune that comes from a little bit later in the Rootmaster catalog. I just checked right now, it's Rootmaster 31. Though we're going to listen to it as part of the XP Digiflex repress series, um, of which I have two copies of that. Uh, the reason I have two copies of that is because my original copy, which has immersions uh, by himself and his tune Plastic on the other side, good tune. I still think Wicked Plastic is the better tune for my taste. Although I think on Discogs there's someone who uh, suggested the opposite. Nevertheless, uh, as I said, we're going to listen to the repress, which came later on XP Digiflex, a uh, French label which has gotten licenses to repress a number of, you know, coveted techno and acid-related records of the last 25 or so years, uh, last 30 years. Um, but yeah, ultimately, it's just a storming tune. It's very mechanical. It's very industrial factory and a lot of the sounds it has a, a heavy pounding you know pistons hitting you know metal type of feel to it and about a couple maybe three minutes in this rattling synth comes in and it, the degree to which it sounds like a factory at that point is just unmistakable you can't not hear it uh, and you know we we hear some whispers of acid work that's going to come but the real moment of this tune is about four or so minutes in. It breaks down momentarily, very briefly. No fanfare, no big buildup, no you know snare roll, anything like that. And then it just snarls back to life and is a wicked piece of plastic for the rest of the way out. And I remember, you know, I comment a lot on Discogs. I've reviewed, I think, this record. Um, I'm trying to remember if I... I think I reviewed it on the Rootmaster original. Uh, but there was someone else uh, who commented, and I actually had to reply to his comment, because he was saying in the last part of the tune, after that breakdown and redrop with intensified acid, <clears throat> he said something to the effect of, it sounds like the acid and the percussion are trying to race each other to get to the end of the tune first, and it really has that feel, so I thought that was a very perceptive comment. So with no further ado, and a very sleepy kitten on my lap, uh, we're going to listen to one, as I said, of my two copies of this record. Uh, and this is, uh, as I said, the XP Digiflex uh, repress series. This particular um, repress, I'm trying to remember to say the number here. Yeah, I think it's the number eight of the Rootmaster represses. So um, I guess we'll listen. It doesn't really matter. Sometimes the sleeve being in better condition is an indication that it's better copy, but I don't think in this case that's actually true. So here we go. This is Kektex Wicked Plastic. Uh, originally from 1999, um, though I'm not sure of the year of this rep repress. I'll put it in the uh, video description. Kektex Wicked Plastic. 45? Wicked Plastic. said we'd use this copy, but if you didn't hear, there's a notable pop in the intro there. So I guess we're going to use the other copy, and I'll make a note to myself that at the very least, the intro of this copy has a bit of mileage. Uh, in any case, I apologize, and we will now listen to hopefully a better copy of Kektex Wicked Plastic. Wicked plastic, 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 wic
is it on the record? Sometimes records have like a pressing fall. And it leads to like a cyclical pop. I mean, it's identical. So. By the way, this is not the real kick drum. Say, this part's begging for a good sample. 
Tune. There's no, there's nothing I would do to improve it, which is, you know, again, I'm not a producer, um, but at the same time, you know, I'm a DJ who has a lot of uh, records and I've heard a lot of good tunes over the years. And sometimes it's like 90% of a tune is great, but maybe there's one element in it. You're like, ah, I wish they had left that out or whatever. Bottom line, there's a lot of tunes I absolutely love, but would still tinker with a bit if I, you know, had that capacity and, um, you know, uh, hardware wherewithal, um, but yeah, there are a few tunes here and there, acid techno, acid trance, hardcore, where it's like literally there's not a foot put wrong. Like I, I literally wouldn't change anything, and this is one of those tunes. So again, when people say, "Oh, what's your favorite acid techno tune?" There's some different tunes that come to mind, but this one is always in the conversation because it's just flawless. It does exactly what it sets out to do. It is wicked plastic from opening bar to final bar, and especially in the you know latter half. Um, so yeah, bottom line, big ups to Henry, big ups to Laurie, big ups to Rootmaster as a label. It's, you know, again, stay up forever, smitten Rootmaster. To me, it's the triumvirate. It is the, like, you know, the, the, what's the right word? Like the, the pantheon up on Mount Olympus. And there are other great labels that are all around the acid techno landscape, but there's only a few up on Mount Olympus. And, you know, I put those three up there. So, um, yeah, just another example of why that is. Do let me know what you think of this one. Luca, I apologize. I mean, you won't even notice. She's like Liquid Cat at this point. She's so sleepy. She, it's like literally she doesn't even have like a solid shape. She just fits whatever uh, vessel she happens to be held in. In any case, let me know what you think. I'll see you next time. Peace.